part of coming into the truth of what the Bible says is learning that we need to walk like Jesus walked. And we know that Jesus was sinless because he obeyed his father's laws in the Torah. And the word Torah might be foreign to some of you, but it's really just Genesis to Deuteronomy in the Bible. The Hebrew word for law is Torah. And we are told in 1 John 2, 6 that we need to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. So to help people do this, I'm going to start a new series where we're going to go through Torah law and find out how we can apply that in our modern day life. And Yahuwah spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the people of Israel. When a man or woman commits any of the sins that people commit by breaking faith with the Lord and the person realizes his guilt, he shall confess his sin that he has committed and he shall make full restitution for his wrong, adding a fifth to it and giving it to him to whom he did wrong. This is about theft and restitution. And when it says that we need to confess our sins, it's most certainly not talking about going into a little booth with a Catholic priest and telling them you did something wrong. This is talking about owning up to the person whom you wronged. Let me give you an example. Let's say you stole 20 bucks from somebody. Well, you know that stealing is wrong and you're not supposed to do it. You just read God's laws and now you need to make restitution. You need to go apologize to that person and give them the 20 bucks you stole plus an additional fifth. So that would be $4 in this instance. And if you stole 100 bucks, you need to give them 120 bucks back. Numbers 5 goes on to say that if the person whom you stole from is deceased, you're supposed to give it to a family member of theirs. And if they don't have any, you're supposed to give all that money to the priest. Or the church. Or donate to somebody who's poor. But you're supposed to give that money back that you stole with an additional fifth. Maybe in your life there's something you stole. Maybe it's time that you make restitution. Maybe you can't even afford to give back everything you took. But it says that we need to confess that sin and be honest with those people. And that is something in your power to do. And on the flip side of that, let's say that someone stole from you, but they realized they're wrong and they came to apologize and make restitution to you. It's our job as believers in Messiah to forgive the people that are coming clean and trying to do right with their lives. Matthew 18, Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him, as many as seven times? And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. We need to forgive the people who turn from their sins and try to do right. 